I feel like the origin doesn't attack unless you provoke it. Oh, he is flying right towards me? What does that mean? Ooh, no! Oh, it's a good thing I started flying right then. Look at that. Wow. How is this fight going to end? I don't know. There's just all these guys. They're just dang ganging up on this 203 demonic pariser. He's taking half their health. Look how fast the health is going down. I mean, you'd think you would understand exactly how this fight would end. I mean, I saw it start. But look at it, they're killing a demonic pariser. He's not f Oh, no, oh, now the fight's ended. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, I can't believe that happened. There's like a bunch of toxic tarantulas around there. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. Maybe the toxic, maybe maybe he was just bored. He was just a bored guy. He's like, what would happen if I let these guys took six, take 60% of my health off? All right, great. I put these foundations out here, of course, to, um, you know, block spawns, but they didn't. I guess I have to do more than stack two foundations on top of each other. I got, all right, new episode today, sweet. I've got a bit of, uh, well, I got this armor, actually. I just got it from a drop. I don't remember what it was, but I got it. That's cool. It's some, like, alpha armor or something like that. Better than standard. I might even try to make, a, you know, more of a set. I do have blueprints. They're not crazy expensive. Um, in other news, let's see. That, um, that relatively high-level Ekus, that alpha Ekus, I did go back and tame it. There it is. It's pretty cool. I quite like it. It's really big. And, um, you know, Ekus are always good mounts. Uh, but it's just, I mean, it's fast, especially when you're jumping, but it's still not all that fast. And it's only got 10,000 something health. I leveled up the melee a bit. Um, and I did knock out this guy, Alpha Anki. He was, a, uh, I think he was around a 200, 203, something like that. Yeah, Alpha Anki, but um, yeah, he's not really any better. Well, he's got quite a bit more melee damage. Less weight and a lot less health than our current um, lower level one. Of course, that one's all like, well, somewhat leveled up. That's probably, that's why. But this guy, you know, a backup, really cool colors. Uh, and then what I also got with the horse, which also did significant damage is the next thing I tamed with it, which was like, I don't know, not that long later, an alpha thorny dragon, which spawned right over there. I'm just kind of taming good stuff that's like around my base. This guy spawned over there in those woods. He was fairly easy pickings once I got rid of the raptors. And this guy's even better. He's even better than my horse. Um, he's, he's got, uh, well, I think he started out with about the same amount of health. We'll pump his health a bit more. Um, but... Yeah, well, how fast is he? Um, he's not as fast. Yeah, he's not as fast, but this guy does... The thing about the horse, though, is it does instant torpor, which is nice. I mean, it does instant torpor, but it doesn't really stack and build very much at all. As soon as your creature gets away from you, you've got, like, maybe five to ten, and maybe not... Maybe not even 10 seconds before that torpor goes gets going back down a lot of creatures, you know, like alphas and stuff They drain torpor quite a lot plus with the uh, with the echoes you're doing near almost 30% of your torpor in damage Which isn't very good either like this thorny dragon if I would have kept on going He was on the run and if I would have kept on going with the horse, I think I would have killed him. So I, I took, I think, one, maybe two shots with my crossbow and knocked him out. Um, which is nice. You can fire off the back of the horse, but you can also fire off the back of this guy. Sweet. Um, and this guy, is, this guy does much less damage with his attacks. And uh, the Torpor is about the same, although I don't think the me I don't think leveling up increases the Torpor on this guy though, however, uh, yeah. I'm not sure. I leveled up, I put like four points in the melee and I did my tail attack and it's still doing 10 damage per hit. Which is sometimes hard to hit. I knocked out a bunny. That was really hard. <laughs> I just I just managed to get him with one thorn and he, uh, and he went out. 
And I think I've, I finally realized why they have these bunnies. They're actually kind of, they're, like, they're a bit of a tough creature, you know, and they have significant weight, pretty good weight. So I think you're supposed to aim them, yeah, it's, it's supposed to be a little knockout creature. Harder to knock out than your typical, I mean, beefy compared to your typical shoulder pet, but uh, they got a lot of weight. But yeah, his, uh, his tail attack does torpor a lot more slowly over time. So while you're running around chasing your creature and doing it, your torpor is very likely still building and building and building. And yeah, it, it, it does pretty good, actually. Um, initial torpor isn't super high. It's not low, though, but it just builds and builds like a turbocharged torpor or some, something like that. I knocked out a, um, an alpha trike. A decent, not a high level, but a decent level with just not much effort at all. <laughs> oh yes, and I also tamed, I found one, another alpha bulb dog. But, and it was a really high level. It was, yeah, I think it was about 210, maybe it was a max level, 210, could have been, I don't know. But look at him, he is an alpha bulb dog just like our other alpha bulb dog, but this one's different. It's small, it's so weird. One alpha bulb dog, you ride it. And another alpha bulb dog rides you. It's like we all ride each other. Kind of a party thing. I don't know. It's, it's weird. Um, I don't know. There's just uh, one of them. If, if I cryo it and I look, it says child rideable in the, in the name kind of, I don't know, creature description or something like that. But they're both called simply alpha bulb dog. One you can ride, one you can carry, but this guy's pretty good. He's got about the same stats, actually, you know? All right, I have no idea what the thumbnail's gonna be like, but in today's episode, I can actually make now Elemental Kibble. We I can actually go Elemental Tier. I think the only thing I was waiting on was Sap, but I did that too. Oh, pfft, I, I didn't even mention. I Look, I've worked on my base. Look at that, my base, I've done something with it. Uh, it's not finished yet, obviously, it doesn't have a roof, but hey, it doesn't really rain much on Falguero anyways, so uh, that's fine, right? Yeah, we all stand out in the rain all day anyways. I also, yeah, I made a tree platform at significant expense, but yeah, I made a cliff platform and one sap tap, and uh, yeah, I got uh, like six uh, stacks of sap. And so now we can literally make right now quite a butt ton of elemental kibble and we can go out and make some elemental tames, I guess. But um, also at the same time, I think before I do that, I want to get some better tranking stuff uh, because those elemental tames are the next tier up and they have a lot of torpor. So I need some better tranks and I need something better than this crossbow. So I need resources. I think I should probably move up to an actual primal fear long neck rifle or or the, uh, the, the sniper rifle thing. That's probably what I should be doing. And that means I need to gather resources even better, um, especially if I'm going to start actually getting weapons bullets and and ammo and armor and stuff like that i'm gonna need uh, more stuff a lot of metal too so right we need more resources and we have the teams to do it however in a nutshell i need an rg you can't go through a playthrough very long on arc without an rg i mean come on all right, this is where the RNGs like to hang out. Uh, I believe I've come. I think I'm prepared. Yeah, this area is really dangerous, but I'm already seeing RNGs. That's cool. And let's see. Oh, it was a bit cold over here, so I had to stop and get like fiber and make myself some uh, leather trousers. Something's killing a bunch of stuff around here. That's always nice and good news on the way I stopped at a red donut drop and check this out. I got a Goliath Lymantria saddle. I had no idea they had that. Look at 228 armor Lymantria saddle. Sweet. I had my Lymantria in here so long and I just chucked it out in favor of the other uh, Ichthyo whatever it is which I named Hal's cousin. Yeah, so uh, we don't have the Lymantria right now, but um, then again, it just stops. Well, that's 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 its stamina stopping saddle. Yeah, that'll help protect it when it needs the stamina all the time. Okay, RG spotting. It's an RG. What do you know? Now we're going for, of course, 
the Alpha RG, and if I can get a breeding pair. Nice level, but no good. A nice breeding pair of Alpha RGs, decent level. I think I'd be pretty satisfied. There's a red one. There it is. There it is. No, I don't need meat. I need that. Apex, no. Come on. Ah, oh, jeez, man. <laughs> Thanksgiving event is ruining all the colors. I, I always go, oh, that's an, that's an alpha. Nope, it's just a regular one. Uh, okay, got a couple of gorillas spawned. So far, I've only seen one alpha RG. 119, it's not good enough. I think he's fighting a, what is, is that? Is that him or is that an apex? It's an apex 140, yeah. Oh, oh no. There's two of them now. Oh, what is this black one, by the way? What is that, guys? Just a Megapithecus. Gee, I can't see anything on this bird. Okay, there's an Alpha 140. Did I see that one before? I didn't see that one before, but... Jeez, man. Okay, he's a bit hurt. How hurt? Oh, he's still being hurt. To get your wing out of the way. Jeez, nobody could see a bloody goddamn thing. Uh, oh, it's gone. Come on, there's a million RGs. Just make one a decent level Alpha. Alpha RG 196, yes, that is what we're looking for. However, it's fighting a bunch of really retarded Daydons. It's gonna take a million billion years, and guess who shows up? Oh, you're joking, you was way down there. It just one hit, one hit. Whoa, what the bloody fuck is that? A light? Meg, uh, Mega Raptor, Light Mega Raptor 189. Whoa, he's shooting things. 75. Whoa, what a kind of kibble. He wants a black kibble. He wants burnt kibble. How, how do you burn kibble? I've never burned a kibble before. He wants some rare burnt kibble. All right, uh, it's the best one I've seen. Uh, Alpha RG 140. Um, it's also over here, which is a bit better. That area back over there, look, I can even see those gorillas. All those gorillas are still rendered in over there. They just trounce around, they cover the entire span of the map everywhere they're rendered in. Every anywhere there's a creature, they come from a million miles away. They could, they're just like, you know. <laughs> they, 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 they're really fast, yeah. They just get everywhere. And they destroy everything. Easily. Okay. All right, here we go. I am going to try to get out the uh, uh, thorny dragon. Yeah, you get out. Just going to try it this way. Ooh. Yeah, rather than... Ah, uh. oh, your tail, your tail. Yes, yes, I know. Okay. Okay, I think we'll be able to do... Ooh, well, what's this torpor anyways? 28,000 torpor in a fight. Let's try it. So let's see if he sticks around long enough to literally... Oh, I'm gonna do 15 damage on this guy. Yes, yes, we're, we're doing quite a bit of damage here. Oh, not damage, probably tore apart, I mean. Yes, how do I get a good hit on him here? Oh, that was good. Oh, that was really good. We'll just try to get as much torpor on him as we can before he flies off. Like so. Nope. We did quite a bit of torpor, you know what? I could see that building all the way up, but that would take a long time. It's so much torpor. Okay, come back to me. We need to get down there. Not Hal's cousin, I want Hal. The real Hal. Alright. The real how, come with me. We need to track this guy down. He's got a he's got a cousin over there. Or he's got a he's got a sibling over there, but he's like a 56, really bad level. Alright, where did this guy is that is that the one? Oh we can't see your butt's in the way. Of course. This guy's always in the way. Oh that's him. Oh that's him right there. Sweet. Okay. What is going on around here? I don't know what the sounds are. Oh no! Oh, it's shit, it is. A wandering loot boss? No. All right, well, as long as that wandering loot boss stays over there long enough. 
As long as he ignores us, ooh, he might be okay. Okay, don't aggro, don't do anything. Uh, where is he, where is he? No! Uh. No! Oh no, he, oh, he's running away, actually. Okay, I need to have this guy. Since I'm not using the gates, I need to just have you on my hotbar. Just need you on my hotbar. Can't find you. Okay, well, is he still building? That's the question. Yeah, he is. Wow, he's almost knocked out from that. He is all... Oh, he's... Oh, he, he just went out. <laughs> we didn't need to fight anymore. Oh, no, please. Oh, what's happening now? Electrification and many things. All right, let's get down here. We'll give him some tame helter and we'll just get him up. We just need to get this guy up. Okay, how many kibble do you want? You only want three. Oh my god, what are these sounds? I don't understand the sounds. Okay. One, two, three. Tame, helper tame, helper times 50 is probably all he'll need. Give you that. What is happening? Jeez, the sounds are so loud. Yes. Good. We have, we have it. We have one. Now we need what, a female or a male? It's a male, we need a female of at least that level. I really, man, come on, man. It's a poor level. Come on, Celestial Uteranus, take care of the fucking gorilla, man. It doesn't matter, he wouldn't be able to keep up anyways. Alpha RG 182, it's a female. That's the one we need. Ah. Uh, it's a nice color too. Yeah, um, oh man, I think there's a little bit too many of those things. They're just everywhere. They're like rats and they're just everywhere, destroying everything all the time. Except what you would like destroyed, I guess. All right, I think I found it right there. Alpha RG female 168. Who is this up here? Don't know. There's monkeys nearby, so we better do this fairly quick. Ah, uh, so it's some kind of a griffin. What are you, a uh, really aggressive ice griffin? Yeah, that could ruin our day, I believe. Ah, uh, an origin griffin. There's so many of those as well. Ice Archaeopteryx, are they attacky? Do they attack shit? Does he attack shit? I feel like the origin doesn't attack unless you provoke it. Oh, he is flying right towards me? What does that mean? Oh, no! Oh, ho, ho, it's a good thing I started flying right then. Look at that. Wow. Dude, they all started flying after me. Okay, I guess that answers that. They attack. Okay, well, at least we lured some of those guys away. Oh, he's coming back? He's coming back after me. What? I mean, I was in music range, but not really anything else. Wow, this guy really wants me. Don't really know. Okay, so if I get anywhere near now, this guy just wants my butt. Wandering loot boss, why is that 500,000 health? Ooh! Whoa, 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 what happened? Big hit. From, ooh, what is that? Oh, something's after us. What is that thing? My, uh, oh, jeez, there's my Alpha RG. He was frozen, and yeah, he's just put out of his misery there. Hey, he, oh, 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 man. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to take a little break there. Uh, you know, go to bed, wake up, go to work, come home, take a shower. But I'm back at it, kicking, I'm still kicking. And uh, me and oh, oh, yes, uh, me and uh, Hal are still out here, so I've decided to come and uh, try out these mountains over here. And they have RGs around them, not too many. Um, I did tame one RG, uh, a female, but it was just a low level. It was hanging out, I think, on that mountain right in front of me over there, um, over there as well. Alpha high level like a 196 or something alpha lightning wyvern. Yeah, that's pretty cool That would be pretty cool to tame lots of torpor um, <laughs> But I uh, uh, don't know how How I tame that today probably not we need to keep looking for a decent female RG. Yeah, just tame that female RG is pretty easy to knock out 
with um, Thorny, uh, Thorny Dan or whatever his name is. We have a decent level male, hopefully a high level female, or another, like, maybe close to max level male, and then we can breed that with a female. It'll be annoying, you know, having to breed the stats back into the female, but, you know, we can do it. It's just, it's just, we're not having very good luck here. Great. Chaos Wyvern. <laughs> Chaos Wyvern. Isn't that the place where the uh, lightning wyvern used to be? We found it! Oh, we found it! Look at that, that yellow one. Alpha RG girl, 182. What is that over there? There's, uh, that's regular RG. What's that? An alpha RG 28. Okay, well, we want this yellow thing right now. I didn't name you. Sorry, I didn't name you. All right, and see if I can hit him. Oh, nope. Hit him right there. I just want... No, I don't want the other. Do not do not do the fabled. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, there's too many RGs around here, but... Yo, oh, we got him. Okay. As many as you can. As many as you can. Try not to hit anything else, because that would really suck. Yeah. Just as many as he can. Uh, and just, we're just gonna have to hope and pray that he doesn't, you know, land in some kind of crazy, nasty spot where he's just gonna be killed. She, sorry. Uh, yeah, oh, that's a good one. He's on the run, on the run. Oh no, I somehow missed him. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, get that girl in there. In, in, there you go, there you go. Come on out, come on. Yes, there we go. Follow it. It's gonna tank pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> this is maybe a bit difficult. Oh dear, what is happening? Oh, that's so loud. It sounds like it's right next to you, but it's like miles away. Oh, <laughs> no, come on. Get a move on. Oh, don't take fall damage. Oh, it took quite a bit of fall damage there. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. No, a scorpion. Oh, I need that. Shoot. Get the scorpion. Out of here. I saw you go. I didn't think scorpions go for RGs, do they? Oh no! No! Ha 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 ha! He's, uh, he's up in the air! Oh ho ho! You nasty little scorpion thing! There we go. I fly like this. Come on, what is wrong with the scorpion, man? What is this? Like, I bet you it's like an apex or something. Okay, the, the C button. I can get him with the C. Can't get him with the right click. It's an Alpha Bowman 0203. Should have tamed that, actually. And check it out. I found a cave. And some chitin. And some blood. Nice. Oh, great place to land. That is fantastic. There we go. There we go. Got it. All right. All right. How many did you want? Three kibble. There we go. Three, three, three. One, two, three. And a tame helper, tame helper. Times 50. It's probably all you need. Chow down. Get my tool ready. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. In you go. Okay, I think I can be satisfied with that. Um, none of them have really... Well, let me check the weight on that one. The weight is really the important thing since we're using them for, you know, um... Female, that's the one. What's your weight? 3,500. See, I just think it should be more than that. The alpha... I mean, the male has 3,000, yeah. But, wow, on this map in particular, taming RGs, that's crazy on Primal Fear. There's so many bad things centered on... The mountain peaks 
And if you go over to the snow biome or that area that's like right near it between the redwoods and the snow, Jesus, just full of gorillas. They're everywhere. And those stupid buffoon feroxes that are like launching the rockets constantly, they're spawning them everywhere. If it's not the gorillas being spawned everywhere, it's those buffoon ferox things. They're just everywhere. I mean, every time you turn a corner, it's another one. I mean, geez, the mod author must really like those things. And yeah, okay, fine. Why? Why? Because it's cool. It's like a, a creature with like military weapons all over it, like Rambo or something like that. But they're everywhere. That's the thing. They're they're just they're just not uncommon at all. They're just everywhere. It's just annoying. That's the one, and that's the one. A 209, <laughs> oh really, a 20, wait, 209. A 209 and a 272, wow. Huge difference. Yeah, there is no stats we want at all from the male. <laughs> yeah, like the female stats are just, everything is way better. So we just need the fe female stats. So we'll try, to get a, uh, we'll try to get a male with the four female stats that we want. So we'll change you to female health stamina weight melee. What do you think? Gym. All right, you guys, do some things. Got an AC for you to make it all nice and comfy as you sit in there. Um, I know you're being an RG, you like the open sky, so I've, you know, look, the whole house is a convertible, a convertible house just for you to get it on with your AC, but you've never had an AC before. Or a fire just roasting right over here with look at the look at all this cooked meat in there, tasty. Smells great. You can smell the burning flesh with AC in the open sky in perfect safety. What more could you want, Jim? Go for it. All right. So while those two birdies are, um, you know, doing it up, making lots of eggs for us, I'm gonna take low level RG here, and we're just gonna do a run. It's got I've leveled it up a few times here, 3,500 weight. It gains weight pretty good. I think I put maybe five, seven levels in there. Ooh, big explosion there. Took off uh, maybe 30,000 health. He's still got, whoa, dude. I got the loot before he even died. All right, Red Tanya, come on out. Let's see if we can harvest all of this and haul it on back with a low level uh, RG here, who's maybe not even gonna have a name. I think we can, I think we can. All right, and transfer again. Oh yeah, and we get a little kick out of it. Yeah, look at that, we don't even need the stone that's in there. Yeah, okay, so this one deposit over here, our little bird can hold it all, very nice. All right, sweet, a big load of goodies. All right, sweet, the breeding is done, finally. It's uh, It's been a while, tomorrow's Friday. That's good, it's a new day, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I've, uh, I've, you know, I've been out, uh, I've, I, I uh, did the breeding, let's see, I didn't tame any more Argies, but I, I went out, oh, I tamed, uh, while the Argies were doing the breeding and were growing up, because it took forever to grow up, um, I did go out and I tamed some snails. I got three of them. I almost got four, but uh, while I was taming one, of course, a Carno just did a marathon sprint out of nowhere and uh, just ran straight for my Achetina and uh, gobbled it down. So I only got three, but look, I've been doing AFK, you know, just letting it do its thing. And I've got all this cementing paste. I feel like I could use three more Achetinas, you know, because... The amount of cementing paste that we need for all the cementing paste that we need and then for all the the actual polymer that we need. Not organic polymer, but polymer itself is very large in this playthrough, in this mod. So I, I will actually try to go out and tame at least two more snails. Um, it took forever, absolutely forever, to find the snails. I went to the swamp, knocked around there a bunch. I didn't find any snails, but I found out how to get rare mushrooms. The RGs are done. Oh no, but bad news. It, look, Hal's cousin. Hal's cousin is out because Hal has died. Yes, Hal has died. I was out looking, yeah, looking for snails. I came upon a mountain in the uh, redwoods and I wanted to check it out. It's like going really slow, observing. Never been there before. I was looking for any better RGs, you know? And so I was <laughs> observing the entire mountain as things spawned in. I was checking out the RGs and from behind, darkness. And then we were all dead instantly. And then it said, 
Chaos Dodo Wyvern. Yeah. <laughs> chaos. So, uh, yeah, we died. Was that was the first time we died? Was that from a Chaos? It might have been the Chaos Dodo Rex. Yeah, so I saw that, and then we died. We either died from that, and then we died again from a Chaos Dodo Wyvern. Never even saw it. Just that's what it said. So, Hal is gone. Uh, so, I definitely like uh, some more of these birds, at least for now, because they're just so fast. Well, one thing's for sure. We're chock out of metal. I've been making, I, I think it was all just metal bits and, and the glass bits on the base here used up all my metal. So I literally have no metal at all. So it's time to take our new RG raised up 100% imprinting. I've never even ridden them actually. Oh wait, yes I have. Anyways, we need to take him and I need to take uh, my Anki and go get a big load of metal. Yeah, it's time to start making the sniper rifle with the sniper trank crazy bullets and stuff like that hopefully in the next episode but right now i mean those things those things are going to take 10 metal each it's a huge grind for the stuff for the high level gear on this uh, primal fear stuff so i need a butt ton of metal and there should be one i think it's either up here or up beyond that next bit there Oh, there is one more thing I wanted to mention. Blast. Well, uh, I'll mention it to you after we get back, if we do re make it back. Uh, right, so here's a butt ton of metal here. I wish there was some obsidian, but there probably isn't. Can I gamma up a bit? That's yeah, nice. Check the surroundings. See, this is what I mean about needing a dino app. There's like, there's hardly anything around. Tanya, what have you got? I want you to have... Oh, you've only got 3,000 weight. You need more weight than that, Tanya. You gotta keep up with the RG. Yeah, are you done? Okay, hit it. Yes, 11 metal. It's gonna... Oh, there... Ooh, 900. <laughs> An extra almost 600. All right, I'm gonna do this for a little while. Here's how you stuff an Anki. Pick him up, drop him into the middle of a bunch of metal when he's all heavy and can't move anymore. And get back on him and get cracking. I can't get back on him. There we go. Yeah. Drop him right here, should be good. Can we get these three nodes? I can move a little bit, not anymore. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? I've got 25 medium XP potions. You know what? I have one. 18 levels. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, we're going to put that into weight. Oh, yeah. 6,500. Yeah, one more. And put the rest into... Yeah, 7,000. <laughs> oh, how much health do we want? 35, 8, yeah, that sounds good. Oh, we can hold so much more now. All right, it is morning, and we have a... Uh, all three of us have glowing yellow eyes. A massive load of metal. That is the by far way. I mean, the most metal, perhaps... Well, perhaps it, it, it rivals the amount of metal we've ever had in this series to date. All together. <laughs> Who knows? Well, it's a lot of metal, and it's really important. I really could use a refining forge. All I got is three of these forges, just the normal S plus ones, which holds 70. That's very nice. And then I've got one of these. I tried one of these. Um, and yeah, it's fast. It's 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 a still a little bit slower than these because I boosted the 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 rates on these yeah but um but yeah i really need a refining forge for sure i i, I probably did boost the rate uh, on that as well so anyways we'll chuck these in Ooh, we got a lot of charcoal in there get me uh metal thirty-four thousand metal yeah pull that oh it filled up the entire inventory okay Right, what I forgot to mention, I knew there was something, but I just couldn't think of it. Look what I have found right here. Boom, and right here. Alpha Indominus Rex, level 56. I got Alpha Indom eggs. 
Um, I was out flying to go back to... I, I was looking for something. Maybe I was looking for, for something. I can't remember. Anyways, there was, uh, there, there was you know, there's this... Uh, if I go out there towards the beach and then up on the plateau above the beach, there's a huge green flat plateau that uh, usually has a lot of creatures on there and often it has some dangerous ones. That's where I saw the... Uh, Oh, not the uh, the chaos dodo rex and stuff like that. Anyways, two alpha indoms and nearby two demonic sheep. And guess what happened? There was a fight and the sheep won. And so I was like, oh yeah, I'll kind of, you know, sweep in and get the stuff. I'll get the loot, whatever loot I can. And I did. But also, there was an egg there. And I was like, oh, you don't even have to defeat it yourself. You could just literally get an egg. So that gave me an idea. Um, there was a bunch of uh, alpha indoms somewhere else uh, in another place on the map so I went there and there were only two left yeah everything is pretty much despawned and it's not respawning very much at all so uh, well the only female there was was like a level 56 so I led it to a nearby pariser which oh the pariser yeah yeah so the pariser uh, easily easily killed the alpha indom Oh, that's how I lost Hal. No, no, on the mountain in the Redwoods, I was riding, um, I was riding one of the original tames that I didn't need anymore for the breeding. I was on an RG. Yeah, that's right. And then, yeah, that's right. So I went in with Hal. Yeah, I was like on Hal and I was like, oh, there's the dead Indom. The Parisers walking away. There's the egg underneath somewhere and the loot. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to harvest the corpse first. But I took a bite and we all died instantly. 14,000 damage from the Pariser. Apparently, the area was still on fire a bit, but I could hardly see because it was covered in smoke. And I just got in to harvest the body and died. We all died. So, rest in peace, Hal. I'll have to set up a graveyard around here. I've lost several creatures, but um, a lot of them weren't even named yet. Let's see, Alpha Indom eggs, we got them. So I think I'll just uh, maybe hatch them up. Let's see, I've got an AC. It is incubating, but actually that's gonna take forever. Why not put them, oh no, why didn't I put them in here first? Put them in here, have them incubate in there, duh. It'll probably incubate faster. Oh, but good news, when those Alpha Indoms died, I got a new Ascendant Crossbow, look at this. Ascendant crossbow 259 damage 259 damage it's a lot better than the 170 of the last crossbow and much better durability that is epic I got some good stuff what else did I get that was really good um, I got I did get some good stuff let's say a goliath pike that I have I have this this primal one but this is um yeah for the narcotic on there which which came in handy because I was in the redwoods quite a bit and I got thylaed once fortunately it was on normal thyla I just whipped out my pike and he went to sleep um uh, but look I got goliath chainsaw I was looking to get a chainsaw before just a regular one I got two goliath chainsaws from I think it was it was got to be one of those indominus there was four indoms in total that died to demonic creatures um, two of them, I led them to the deaths myself, but, uh, yeah, Goliath chainsaws, look at that epic. We are having Thorny Dragon tonight. What is he going after? He's trying to go after a dodo. Oh, these things are so good. He's not even aggroed on us because he's stuck aggroed on something else. Oh, this is so easy. This is so easy. No, don't. Oh, he, he just tore apart the dodos. <laughs> he just got the... Oh, he's coming after me now. Oh, no. Oh, come on. How is he? How is he on Torpor? Very nearly there. I mean, it will just build the rest of the way, but I don't want him to run into something terrible. How's that? How's that? Oh, he's so close. Here he goes. Here he goes. There he goes. Nice. How much kibble does he want? Four. We have it. All right. Sweet. Oh, very, very, very successful trip. Look at all the... I got a bit more rare flowers. There's tons of rare flowers in the swamp over there, the normal swamp. And look at all the rare mushrooms. Yeah, the Therizino is probably the best for getting those, but the Mammoth isn't that far behind, if any at all. But the Mammoth also holds a lot, holds its wood a lot better, you know, so the Mammoth can keep on going for a longer time. But you know what? I think the Therizino's fine. There was an Omega Sarko in the water. He just walked up on us while I was on the Therizino. He didn't attack. They don't attack Therizinos. 
I think if I was on a mammoth, he would have attacked, and that would have been bad. I was, I had nearly changed to the mammoth at that point. Oh, they're still not fertile. They're still not ready. Not incubated yet, but... Well, anyways, that was epic, man. So, oh, my mouse. No, where's my mouse? So I think what I'm going to start doing now is... Yeah. Toxic narcotics. I did make quite a bit before. Oh, I even made... Oh, I made alpha-infused toxic narcotics. Did I mention that? Yeah, I did. I remember now. There it is. I have 102. Sweet. Uh, but we need more. So that... I don't have any toxic. So that just needs the toxic plus the alpha blood. And then everything after that, yeah, it's just the blood and then the next narcotic under it. Um, so yeah, it all comes down to making the potent narcotics. And then the toxic narc... Yeah, with the seeds, need those seeds, which is a bit of a rare drop for the narco berry seeds. Uh, but the mammoth gets those pretty well. And then the toxic narcotic, which is rare flowers and rare mushrooms, and I can go down there with the, uh, with the Therizino and get bunches of those. So it's basically, wow! Now it's, now it's kind of the blood, the toxic blood, yeah, the toxic blood. Definitely need to remember to harvest up toxic creatures. Alright, finally our work is done. Alpha Indom, Alpha Indom. So, yeah, this is a huge step up for us. I mean, it's still the Alpha class, and I think, you know, we've done a lot of Alpha stuff. Alpha is just a step. It's just a step. Alpha creatures are just simply not very strong at all, except for things like an Indom. I think these things are gonna be you know, up there with the apex stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me, his throat is getting a bit dry here. Gosh, I need a, a cafe latte. All right, Alpha Indom 133. Are you incubating? It is. Ho oh, ho, yes it is. Oh, there it is. It's about the size of a raptor. Sweet. Okay, there's our Indom. Oh yeah, and it was epic colors too. Oh, it kept... It kept the colors of its mama. And who's this guy? Okay, yeah, that's right. It's just a big red one. Ooh, the tail is long. 491,000 health. It's got a melee damage of 63. Almost 64%. But look at that health. That is crazy. Wow. Cool, you are 133. You have a tiny bit more health. A lot, with twice the melee, but wait. Almost 500,000. You have exact, wait, exactly the same health? Ah, ah, stop, stop. You have 490, wait, am I reading that wrong? Yeah, 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 that's half a million health. Oh no, the, <laughs> oh, that's terrifying, a tiny little indoms. <laughs> all right, all right, uh, so you, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's out of food, it's losing health. And yeah, I was kind of wondering about that. Oh uh, no, what do they eat? Uh, okay, got butt ton of prime meat uh, from some alpha brontos and stuff, but um, or one, that took forever. Um, but they, <laughs> they don't want any of it. They seem to want alpha kibble. Yeah, I just put that in there. I didn't look it up, didn't look it up. Although I probably, you know what, I should have because it's just trial and error and that's not very interesting at all. But I found that out. Do they really want, now I'm curious, is that all they want? I mean, because, I mean, any creature will eat kibble, right? It's just alpha kibble. 
So I'm gonna make I'm gonna need to make up quite a few look he's already out of food all right, but that has got to be the end of the episode because it's probably, you know, with this extra bit of metal mining and the end arms and stuff like that, too long. But that's what I usually do in my episodes. Just tend to be a bit more packed and, you know, there's three days. You know, it's easily two or three days go into each of my episodes, right? Two or three of my days. All right, but that was uh, quite a bit. Yeah, big step up with the RGs. We're doing great on that front. And to boot, two Indom Rexes of questionable level. But one is looking really cool. Look at that gold spikes on its back. <laughs> That's cool, and red shoes. Uh, we also tamed back up Thorny Dragon, Alpha Thorny Dragon. Those things are tremendously useful for knocking out tames. Thanks guys for watching. Do remember to hit the like button. You know, just click it with your finger or just hit it or smash it, whatever people really like to do. I prefer spanking it in the booty, but you know, do your thing. Definitely need to click the like button to help support YouTubers which includes me, uh, giving you free content, optional content at your viewing leisure. So, you know, do that. Definitely write a comment. I'd love to hear your comments and uh, share the video with those you love, those you trust, those you need, those you hold, and the list goes on. All right, thanks everybody. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah. Hopefully I'll get some sales for these indoors.